You're watching Star Watch Media. I'm Callie Bundy, and we're here at the 20th anniversary of the Hamptons International Film Festival. Hey, I'm Callie from Star Watch Media, and I am here with the crew from Rising from Ashes. This is director TC. How are you doing today? I'm great. I'm really excited to be here. Yep, and Obed, how are you? Good, thanks. I'm okay. Yeah, you're <laughs> looking awesome. Yeah, I'm awesome. <laughs> and Jack Star of Sport, how are you? I'm doing really well. Good to be here. Very well. You gentlemen have a, a beautiful day for the world premiere, you were telling me, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. We've been working. We started this film. The inception of the idea came in 2005. We've been working on it for about seven years. In 2006, uh, uh, essentially, Jock was asked to come uh, coach this, the first ever Rwandan cycling team. And I was asked to kind of come along on the journey and tell the story. And Obed's one of the cyclists on the team. Do you get compared a lot to the, the Jamaican bobsled team? Yes. Did you, yes, probably yes. all the time. Does that get annoying? It's not annoying at all. And I actually, it's kind of amusing. But yeah, Jamaican, they always say Jamaican bobsled team. So yes, we always get compared to or referred to like the Jamaican bobsled team. Right, but you are not. You're these cyclists. We're cyclists and actually they ride bikes in Rwanda. I don't think they do bobsled in Jamaica. No? No, I don't think they have snow. <laughs> I might believe you. I feel like you're a man who knows what he's talking about. Well, when it comes to climate and, and <laughs> foreign countries, I, I think I'm right. Yeah. Right, definitely. So tell me about this. You said seven years in the making. Was this seven years in the making for you as well that you've been working with them? Actually, it's only been six for me, a little okay. over six. Uh, I came in 2006 and been in Rwanda. I came first time for three months and just basically never left. Okay, and what brought you there the first time? Was it to go and coach? Actually, no. A friend of mine, Tom Ritchie, said he was doing a race over there and he needed some help in organizing it and wanted me to come along. And that's how I kind of got there in the first place. Didn't really know where Rwanda was, just showed up, helped them out, and then they said, well, let's do a bike team. Sure. And that's how it started. Okay, so the bike team did not exist. Was Obed, were you there riding bikes before he showed up? Yeah, he was riding before this yeah. guy came in Rwanda, but... Uh, but yeah. then he came and he helped you. What kind of bikes do you ride? Not right now. What is it? Right now I'm riding bike time, time, carbon time. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is that is that your favorite? You like those? Yes, I like it, time bike. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and about how long are your rides that you go for? Uh, it's like ten years. Yeah. What? Is oh, how long? How far are the rides yes. that you go on? The length of how many distance? hours a day? Uh, uh, every day we change hours. Uh, we start like two hours today, and tomorrow three, next tomorrow four. Long day is five hours. Five hours. Yes. And about, would it be miles or kilometers, kilometers that you cover? Uh, How many kilometers? Uh, 100 kilometers, 120, 150, 180. Okay, yeah. very cool. So, Jock, Jock is being humble here. He was actually the first American to ride in the Tour de France. So his background yeah. is very extensive. Uh, extensive. And he it's probably expensive too, but he... Uh, <laughs> so he, he, he really brings a lot of talent to Rwanda, and that was really the base of, of what was essentially a lot of talent that just needed some uh, help to take it to the next level. It was really a hand-up idea that sure. moved from cycling to a much larger story. Right. Almost, I mean, the experience, too, along with the talent. I mean, the experience, the first American to ride in the Tour de France, that's incredible. Well, hopefully we'll have soon the first Rwandan to be in the Tour de France. Sure. So that I think in the next couple of years will happen. What did you find was the biggest um, challenge overcoming coaching them? Uh, they came from a background, well many of them didn't know how to shift gears or brake or ride in a like a pack so it was really difficult to get them to understand how to ride in a pack and also tactics in a race, eating in races, drinking in races. It was difficult in the beginning to get them to multitask and uh, it's been challenging but very rewarding. Sure, and I'm sure nutrition has been an interesting part of it because I'm sure they have to follow a specific diet. Has that, has that played a part? Uh, nutrition is huge. Uh, when I got there they probably weren't eating anything or drinking anything when they went on rides wow. and some of that was economic because food is expensive and they would go out and ride 50 kilometers or 60 kilometers without food or water wow. 
and now they get very hungry. We feed that we do training camps five days a week, and they get very good food, and uh, it's uh, made a big difference in their lives. Sure. Now, where where the team stands now? What do you think is their um, strong point? Strong point is hills and endurance. They've wow. got very. Uh, talented athletes there. They're very uh, lightweight and they're very good at hills. Rwanda is the the country of a thousand hills so there's a lot of hills there. Okay, so <laughs> the challenges everywhere, right? So now as you said this is the world premiere, what time does um, does it show today? Yeah, it shows at four o'clock today and it's, you know, what we're probably most excited about is it's the first really positive picture of Rwanda. Our goal in the beginning uh, in 2005, I went over to Rwanda with a friend of mine, Dan Cooper, and he said, you know, that one of the hardest brands ever to get away from is genocide. And for a country that's really come away from that and has really kind of picked itself back up, it's really a great story. It's not about the past, but about the future and about the hope and about what's really happening there in a positive way. And, you know, the great thing is that we ended in London this summer, and I don't want to give away the rest of that. Right, right. So in order for this to really be a success, to get across what you do, um, how, you know, what do you need the audience to come away with? You know, I hope they would come in with an open mind and that they would leave with a lot of application of how they can apply hope and forgiveness and second chances to their own life. Okay, very good. Now, for people that aren't here at the festival, where can they go to find out more information? Sure, they can go to our website, risingfromashesthemovie.com, and you can sign up for those screenings and all where it's going to play all over the country. We'll be in uh, seven different cities in the next five weeks, so it'll okay. be around the country. Okay, so where, where is the next race? The next race will probably be in Gabon okay. uh, in January. No, actually, okay. the next race, uh, okay. Burkina Faso, is in the next month. Okay. Actually, this month. And how many people are on the team? Uh, we have, when we go to races, we have six-man teams. Uh, at our training camps, we have between 12 and 20 riders at the camps. Okay. So I pick from about 18 riders a six-man team. Okay. And Obed was the only one who made it here to the Hamptons? Yes, uh, yes, I'm here by myself, but I think uh, after one one week, I have another guy who come here. Okay. Yeah. His name is Rafiki. Rafiki, all right. So I'm sure there's a few people if you want to say hi to that'll be watching this later. Give them a little shout out. Yeah, from Rwanda. Yeah, they'll be watching it online that you want to yeah. say hi to. Who would you want to say hi to on the team? Uh, and, uh, I say hi, Nathan is best my friend on the team and. I say hi from you everyone. Say in Rwanda too. And yes. yeah, and that's who's about Chinibo, Sebati, Murwanda, Hobari Ho, say, Susan, and Rwanda was Simur Sanje, Bob Girakum is in his account in Basos. That, that sounded beautiful. I don't know what you said, but it sounded beautiful. Now, is there a cheer or anything that you do for the team? Like before the race, what is it? Yeah, I say. I say hi everybody for Team Rwanda, and then I say hi everybody for friend of Team Rwanda, and then I say good luck. Okay, so that's what you just said right now. Yes. Okay, what about before a race? Is that something that they do in cycling? Do you no. do a cheer or anything? Okay, no, nothing no. like we that? We pray. We pray before races. And drink a lot of water. Yeah. And drink a lot of water, yes. <laughs> Very good. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. Um, best of luck to you today. Anything else you would like to add? No, come and have fun. Perfect. Yeah. Fun is where it's at. Obed, anything you want to add? No. Have fun. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much, gentlemen, and best of luck. Thank you.